Walking into our bedroom, I'll be showing you the closet as well. My favorite thing about this room is that it gives a lot of natural light because we have two walls with huge windows. And my least favorite thing about this room is the freestanding clothing rack that I had to add for extra shoe and hanging storage. Our closet is a walk-in closet, but it's not very well designed in terms of hanging space. I tried to make this thing look as nice as possible since we do have to look at it every day. I have the matching hangers, matching shoe boxes, but again, I wish we didn't have to look at it all the time. I prefer to have all the clothes in the closet if possible. Um, all of the hangers are the velvet non-slip hangers, and I did categorize the clothes with suits, button downs, jerseys, and jackets, outerwear. And then most of my husband's shoes are in these clear shoe boxes. And I'll show you where the rest of them are on the other side of the room. The rest of his shoes are stored on the back of our bedroom door. And I'm using an Elfa over the door rack system here to hold all the shoes. This system hangs from a hook at the top of the door and it attaches with another hook at the bottom, but there's no drilling or actual tools needed to install this system. It's really good for renters because it doesn't do any damage to the door. And it's also versatile because you can move it from room to room if your needs change in the future. There are basket attachments that you can purchase. There are shoe attachments like the one that I'm using here. It's just a peg system where the shoe slips over the top. They also have a pegboard system that you can use where you can hang various hooks on it. So I love the versatility and the fact that we get a lot of extra storage for shoes with a very small profile. There's only about six inches of space here where the shoes come out from the door. So we are able to open the bedroom door completely without any issues, which adds a lot of storage in a very small footprint for us. No pun intended. If you have questions about the Alpha, please let me know because this is one of my favorite products and I'm happy to answer any questions. Our dresser is from Ikea and I use the three left drawers. My husband uses the right side of the drawers. And the only thing I added was the spring-loaded drawer dividers from Amazon. They're extra deep, which is hard to find in some drawer dividers. Um, so this just helps keep everything separated. I like to keep undergarments, socks, and tank tops on the top of mine because I use those every day. Right now I have all of my winter folded clothes in these drawers. I will swap these out for the summer and spring clothes that I have, which are currently being stored under my bed. I wish I had enough storage to keep them out in my dresser, but I don't. And then I keep all my denim, some bulkier sweaters and folded pants and leggings. My husband has a similar setup over here, another divider, undergarments and socks, which he folds a little differently than I do, but I'm not complaining. He does his own laundry, folds his own laundry. So whatever works for him. We have gym shorts, his, um, I guess, sleepwear, sweatpants, and then work clothes. And he uses the bottom for some pants, shorts, and all of his bathing suits. Our closet is absolutely the room I struggled with the most to organize in our apartment. I was able to use the back of the door for most of my shoes. These pockets are really nice for women's shoes, at least, because they hold a, at least one pair of shoes in each pocket. I still have some room if I need to but I don't plan on getting any more shoes. I definitely don't need them. The problem with the closet I found is the limited long hanging space. So really this is our long hanging space. Any long dresses, my ugly robe, um, jackets that are long, all had to go in that tiny little space. And the rest of the closet is short hanging space. And I'll show you the other side to give you a good example here. Anything longer than basically a women's blouse that's, you know, short couldn't go on the top rack. I had to fold all of my dresses, any knee length dresses, I folded in half and put over a pants hanger to hang them in this closet because if I left them long on a hanger, they would cover the shelf and I couldn't use it for anything else. They would also cover the wooden dowel on the second row here. So it would be just kind of annoying to hang anything on the second row. You'd have to move stuff on the top row to make it fit. So even my husband's t-shirts were too long to go on the top because I thought about that at first, but 
I appreciate that I was able to at least use the second shelf down here in the bottom. Once I was able to fold all of my dresses, this second shelf was still usable. I added clear shoe boxes and then any shoes like wedges that are too tall to go in the pocket system on the back of my door, I was able to add here. One thing I really like about this closet is the built-in cubbies. I was able to find these fabric storage bins from the container store that are the pretty much exact dimensions of the cubbies and it does add a lot of functional storage to this closet. These are things that I use frequently, but not necessarily every day. Like I'm not always changing my purse. We do wear hats, but it's really easy to just walk up to the bin, grab the hat and put it back. And I keep boots down here for now. All of my long or tall boots that don't fit in a shoebox end up in that container. I was also able to use the vertical space since we have very tall ceilings here. I could double stack these boxes with some of our less frequently used clothes and accessories, things that I want to keep in the closet, like, I mean, costumes, because what adult doesn't have a full box of costumes at this age? But I do like that I was able to maximize that tall ceiling. I keep jewelry in my closet as well. This I'll get to in a second, but necklaces hang really nicely on these acrylic pegs again from the container store and then I'll try to get a good view of this. It's almost like chicken wire and my earrings hang through the wire. This is all of my earrings but I really need to pare it down because I wear probably 12 <laughs> pairs of these but I keep this on one of the acrylic pegs and makes it easy to find the accessories that I need in the morning when I get dressed. And here's the not so pretty part of our closet. We have this small space on top for more short hanging items where I keep my blouses and my jackets. And on the bottom is where I keep my folded workout clothes, loungewear, and pajamas. You'd be surprised. I guess I, I work out and I lounge a lot because I have lots of these clothes, but I really do like all of them and I wear all of them and I clean them out frequently. So this dresser might not be cute to look at, but it is functional and at least everything in there is folded and it's stuff that I like. I have a basket here with my heating pads that I use every day, which is kind of embarrassing, but it needs to be somewhere that I can actually reach easily. We had a little extra storage space here in between the dresser and the door. So I keep our laundry drying rack. I keep our folding board, which is something I use to fold long sleeve and short sleeve t-shirts. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I have a video about how to use a folding board on my social media and I also keep a step stool in here because I'm short and I'm constantly getting up on a step stool to reach what I need. The bracelets and rings that I have are temporarily being stored in this box. This is repurposed from a different room in my home so I'll probably get something more specific for jewelry in the future. And our top shelf just has an air mattress and a spare pillow if we ever have guests. One tip here in a closet which anyone can do if you have empty hangers that don't have garments on them, put them all in one spot. Not only is it easier to find a hanger when you need one, but it also looks a little tidier than just having random empty hangers interspersed throughout your clothes. So even the clothes that we um, have on the garment rack out in the bedroom, I'll take any empty hangers from there, put them all in here so we know where to go when we're putting up clean laundry and we need a hanger. That's it for the bedroom and closet tour. As always, if you'd like more details on any of the products or you have questions about how to work with me or general organizing questions, please reach out and I'd love to talk to you.